One woman is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars of her own money to air ads bashing Democratic candidate and former Vice President Joe Biden. Shirley Shaw bought $500,000 worth of ads attacking the former Vice President, but not over any major 2020 issues, but rather an old business dispute. Let's take a listen. That's right, Joe Biden. It's not an open court. That's why the Center for Public Integrity ranked Delaware 48 out of 50 states on key issues like transparency and accountability. Chancellor Andre Bouchard oversees a chancery court which has resisted every attempt to bring much needed transparency into the court. The Delaware court is too male and too white and it's anything but open. The ad is scheduled to air in Iowa, New Hampshire and Delaware this week. CBS News 2020 campaign reporter Bo Erickson wrote the article and joins me now from Washington with more. Bo, this ad doesn't discuss any of the major issues of 2020 in the presidential race. So explain why this woman chose to run this ad against Biden. <laughs> Well, hi, Omar. So usually we would have to do a lot of digging to find out who is behind a negative ad like this. But this story is basically the exact opposite. This apparently wealthy woman in Florida, she's 78 years, 78 years old, is using one of her personal gripes with uh, former Vice President Joe Biden to highlight the chancery court system in Delaware, which is a court system that deals with inter-business um, scruffles between two parties. And she, her gripe is basically because her son owns this millions of dollars worth of uh, translation software company, and his company went through litigation for years and she says they lost money. One report said <clears throat> that the company lost um, a quarter of a billion dollars. Wow. So she uses an old exchange between then Senator Joe Biden in 2005 at a Senate hearing with Elizabeth Warren who was a Harvard professor at the time and they were going back for 14 minutes over bankruptcy courts uh, and there is a light edit in the video that shows when they were talking about bankruptcy courts mm -hmm. it's put into the context of this chance record so I just wanted to highlight that as well. The ad also features a clip of Elizabeth Warren as you mentioned attacking the court system the narrator saying we agree with Elizabeth Warren is is this an ad for Warren or is it just all against Biden? Definitely not for Elizabeth Warren, okay. I'm told. Um, unfortunately, I was unable to talk to Shirley Shaw, the woman who bought the ad, but her press representative confirmed to me that she's actually a registered Republican, so she doesn't want to prop up Warren okay. at all. Um, and she is just trying to get, get her message out there by attaching it to Joe Biden. And she has a press spokesperson. Okay. How have candidates uh, Biden and Warren kind of responded to this ad? Well, have they seen it yet? Their campaigns have seen it, and understandably, they are not too thrilled about it. Uh, both campaigns have said that they don't think the ad should run. Uh, Biden's campaign said that this misrepresents Biden's position in the exchange from 2005, and Elizabeth Warren's uh, campaign said they also believe that it should be taken down because they don't think that wealthy people like Ms. Shaw should have an outsized role in this primary campaign. Now, once this starts airing in Iowa and New Hampshire and Delaware, what are likely primary voters going to think about this? Or is this just too much inside Delaware baseball? Well, I know I had to do a lot of research on the chancery court system in <laughs> and they, Delaware. And we pay you to do that. I uh, guess <laughs> you do. Um, so it may be a little difficult to understand, but I guess the bigger point is that there would be competing messages. Not many candidates have television ads on the air in Iowa or New Hampshire. So when they see this negative ad against Joe Biden, people may um, have slight pause. And it comes at a time this week, uh, Biden released his second ad in Iowa about health care. So this is a competing message. I mean, I I know that candidates can have positives and negatives and usually of course that fluctuates throughout the campaign but interesting to see just an, a woman upset with him interesting very very interesting Bo thank you very much for this thank you